All right, I think this video um, has been a long time in the making. I, I don't, I'm kind of surprised that this hasn't been done yet because this is probably the most controversial, controversial song. Controversial, can you pronounce it both ways? Um, that no one really talks about. And I think it needs to be talked about. So um, without further ado, because I've, I've given a lot of ado right now, um, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. By the way, Christmas Day today, we're having, it, outside of Nashville, we have what everybody hopes for on Christmas. Rain, you know, that precipitation that everybody hopes for on Christmas. Um, so yeah, it's a good Christmas morning so far. But this needs to be said. So, alright. One, two, three, four. Counting in. Sure, whatever. Normal. Happens all the time. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Let me just uh, move this down a little bit here. Alright. The premise. Run over by a reindeer. Who's verifying that they were indeed reindeer, specifically reindeer hoof prints, and not a deer, or moose, or a caribou? Or another hooved animal if we're talking about and this isn't even my it it isn't even in my notes um if we're going like mytho mythological here satyrs could be centaurs i mean we're the premise is that santa exists and the reindeer can fly theoretically although it's not mentioned in the song but we're going off of like normal logical um santa stuff but yeah, we got some mythological creatures that could also be, uh, not even in my notes, but yeah. So, but we're trying, we're going to stick with realistic as much as we can here. Um, so who's verifying that's reindeer hoof, reindeer prints specifically? Um, this is completely unedited, folks. You're welcome. Um, Santa and his reindeer pretty famously, and I believe exclusively, but I have no ev evidence of this, um, stick with the rooftops. That's where they land, so that Santa goes from rooftop to rooftop, jumping down chimneys and back up chimneys, you know. He doesn't have a lot of reason to stray from the rooftops. So, if this is a reindeer murder, or a murder perpetrated by a reindeer, and or the driver of the reindeer, um, either Santa deliberately landed on or ran over Grandma, um, or accidentally strayed super far from his normal you know modus operandi of, of landing specifically on roofs and happened to very coincidentally um land or run with the reindeer in the one spot that grandma was walking again it could have been any other wild deer or moose like animal what what city state town do they live in alaska lots lots of lots of moose Probably lots of deer, too. Um, New York City, probably not as much. No, with the with that stuff. So we need some we need some facts. We need some information. And we're, we're like one line in, by the way. Um, walking home from our house Christmas Eve. Let me just make sure that I have scrolled to that next point. Por favor, one second. Oops, okay, that jumped far. That's fine, whatever. Nope, nope, I gotta go back up. Sorry. Bear with me on this one. Very importante. If I could just make word not do that jump thing, that'd be kind of cool. I think I can. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're back. Um, I get that they're all drinking, right? So, the next next part is like, they're drinking too much eggnog. Begging her not to go, but okay. A lot of drinking. Eggnog was mentioned. But why the hell did you let her go out in the snow at night alone? She's likely, but not guaranteed to be, much less strong, much weaker, or at least incrementally weaker than almost anyone else in the family. Big assumption on my part could be, could be buff grandma, could be a young grandma. We don't know age-wise. It doesn't specify in the song. Um, 
But still, like, you can't stop a grandma? Or is it that you didn't want to let her leave? Sorry, sorry, is it, is it, is it that you didn't want to stop her? It's mentioned a little bit later that she's on medication. So maybe she's being a bit obnoxious? Especially without the meds? And is this real medication? Or is it just like, oh, grandma's medicine, you know? Weed? Other drugs? And then you guys just watched her stumble, literally stumble, out into the snow? Pretty good indication she shouldn't go alone. So, nefarious motives? <laughs> you tell me. Let's go, let's go through the, the, the lyrics so far, sorry. So grandma got run over by a reindeer, walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and grandpa, we believe. Yeah, I'm sure you guys do. Uh, she'd been drinking too much eggnog, and we begged her not to go. Don't go, grandma. But she'd forgot her medication. Uh, also, like, why isn't grandpa, who's been with her theoretically for a long time, we actually don't know how long their marriage has been or whatever, but... Assumptions, I suppose. Um, you didn't, like, help her remember she needs meds? Like, and that she would be needing to take them on Christmas Eve? They don't usually take meds in the morning? Like, for... Whatever. Again, grandma's medication. Um, so stumbled out into the snow. Uh, when they found her Christmas morning... When they found her Christmas morning? You didn't think to check in on her progress? call her house or cell phone depending on the year i actually did have to look this one up um it was created in the year 1979 by a, a husband and wife group called elmo and patsy and they they released it in san francisco they had house phones for sure in 1979 they might have still been rotary i don't know i know that my grandma and grandpa's house had a rotary phone for a while I don't remember what year they changed that. I think they might have had it for a long time, just because it's fun. The kids like to play, you know, me and the kids, other kids like to play with it. Um, but yeah, you want to check in with Grandma. I mean, you let her go out in the snow to home, to the other home, which who knows how far away that is. But they had house phones for sure. You should check in. Like, hey, Grandma, did you make it? Ring, ring, ring. No Grandma pickup. But when they found her Christmas morning, so you guys let an entire night go by without thinking about Grandma, who had stumbled out of the snow, drunk and weak. Again, I don't, uh, the assumption, weak, Grandma. I'm sorry, I'm my bad there. At the scene of the attack. Okay, now we're just assuming that's an attack and not like an accident. But let me tell you something. Uh, she had hoof prints on her forehead an incriminating clause spelled C-L-A-U-S because they're trying to wink at Santa Claus marks on her back okay let's go through the logistics of this um, hoof prints on her forehead could be a couple things right so either she fell down in the snow on her back somehow maybe she slipped and then only hoof prints on her forehead I know you're probably trying to be concise in a song, but you should really have all the evidence there. So hoof print on her forehead, is, that could be a killing blow from a large animal for sure. You would think there'd probably be a cave-in to the face of some kind, you know, the, the, the forehead area of some kind, skull, with that much pressure. Um, otherwise, a hoof print to the forehead, if that's the, the blow that knocked her back... It'd be a weird angle, and this is it like is it like the front of like if the hoof is like this and like this is the downward facing part of the hoof, what, did the hoof knock into her like with the front of the hoof like bang you know, or oh maybe Santa tried to pull up at the last second right, so the hoof print is the bottom of the hoof because the, the 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 reindeer are going like oh no and they're pulling up right, oh no that's how reindeer talk. Um, so hoof print forehead knocks her back, right? But then, but then as she's trying to, as she's trying to crawl away, when these claws marks, which again, what does that mean? Does Santa Claus have claws? Because reindeer don't have claws. They have, we have, they have, they have hooves. We've established that. 
I mean, look at this picture. You can't really see the hooves, but this this evil reindeer. They got, he got him. She got him. I don't know. They got him. I don't know. But yeah, so she's knocked over, or she's trodden upon. She's already on her back. Who knows? And she's trying to like crawl away for help, and then claws marks on her back. There, because th you don't do chest compressions on on somebody's back. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if Santa Claus is trying to theoretically re help revive Grandma after she's been knocked unconscious by a reindeer hoof, I mean, but claws like is that just what his hands? Claws marks are his hands. It's Santa Claus's hands. This is a very problematic song. Um, and nobody talks about it. I just, uh, um, so whatever the claws marks are, so like knocks her out she's trying to crawl away so she's not knocked out she's trying to crawl away to get help in the snow you don't crawl on your back so you're crawling on your stomach so claws are like slashes is he is he cutting her up for some reason to like you know that could be a good way to hide the idea of a reindeer murder a murder by reindeer right like, oh, no, it wasn't a reindeer. That's just a some weird blunt force trauma to the forehead. And then somebody slashed grandma. It's just sla slashes. Claws marks. Slashes. Whatever. And then, okay. Okay. And then they go through the chorus. Two, three. Grandma got run over by a reindeer walking over from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and grandpa, we believe. Okay. Now we're all so proud of grandpa. He's been taking this so well. See him in there watching football, playing cards and drinking beer with Cousin Mel. Let me make sure... Uh, it's it's going to do a, a jumpy thing here again, but so let me make sure... I haven't checked. Oh, I, I don't think I look very good, so this is going to be... You guys are going to just lambaste me, I understand. It's fine, if anybody sees this at all. Um, I can just do this. There we go. That's smarter of me. Yeah, I gotta go further. Sorry, part pardon me. I could always I could also expand this at this point because I you know yeah, I got more here going on. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Grandpa's just watching football the next day after knowing that Grandma was found dead, playing cards and drinking beer with Uncle Mel. Uncle Mel seems to be taking it fine too. Were they in on something together? He's taking it too cool. Like, my grandma at my, at my grandpa's funeral, oddly enough, didn't cry at the funeral. And I was, I was a mess. But I know, I know they had a loving marriage. I mean, she may have cried off, off camera. Um, there was no cameras. It was just uh, yeah, my way of saying uh, somewhere else. <sighs> But just to be coolly watching football, playing cards, drinking beer. I think there's something going on here. Is that what the song's trying to indicate this whole time? That Grandpa actually murdered her with a blunt force, but a, a, a hoof print. Again, if it's just like the front of the hoof, that's just, blunt, that's just a baseball bat. That's just blunt force trauma. If it's an actual print, like a hoof would make in the snow or mud or, or, or dirt or something like that, then we got we got some more thinking to do on this one. So Grandma just gets murdered, by the way, and where are the police? Were the police called? Are they the ones that determined that it was a hoof print and claws marks? Why is everybody in this household who would be like the primary suspects for grandma's murder, why are they all just kicking back, having Christmas time? Why are they out in jail, being processed, being interviewed separately, one at a time? Okay, where was grandma? Where'd you last see her? Was she drinking? Why didn't you stop her? How's grandpa doing, you know? All these things. I just don't buy it. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think of Santa or a reindeer. I think some. I think he got murdered, 
police are taking the Christmas off as sometimes they do. I don't know. Maybe they're used to a certain number of reindeer death murders every Christmas. They don't suspect the family at all. Like, Grandpa and Mel? Come on. <sighs> Proud of Grandpa. Whatever. And it's not Christmas without Grandma. It still is. It's just a day of the day of the year, but sentimentality, sure. All the families dressed in black. Are they dressed in black whilst Grandpa and Mel are playing cards, drinking beer, and watching football? Amazing Grace. And we just can't help but wonder, should we open up her gifts or send them back? Send them back? Question mark? Like... I don't know, man. Um... Send them back to who, by the way? Santa? The man who just theoretically murdered your grandma? Hey, you murdered our grandma. Can you take these gifts back that you gave to her? Or are they gifts that grandma sent to you? Her gifts would, in would I think, indicate that they are to grandma. Weird for him to send her a gift when he was planning her murder. But if it was an accident, truly an accident, then it wouldn't be that weird, I suppose. But again, why would it... The coincidence, it's just, it's not there for me, right? Santa usually sticks to rooftops, but all of a sudden, lands on land, snowy land, and just happens to get Grandma. <sighs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer, you've already mentioned this. Walking home for hours Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for your grandpa, we believe him, sure. Now, the goose is on the table. All right. I've never had a goose, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think I've had a turducken. Maybe. Not sure. I wonder what goose is like. Not to mention, I don't think I've tried or seen figgy, pug figgy pudding in real life. So the goose is on the table. Pudding is made of fig. You still gotta eat. I understand that. All dressed in black. And not under arrest by the cops. I mean, they could have said, hey, no one leave town. But that's not mentioned in the song. So I don't know if the cops are doing anything to, to look at this. Um, and the blue and silver candles that would just have matched the hair in Grandma's wig. So here's another thing I'm not I'm not comfortable with, right? Blue and silver candles match her wig. Are we talking just the silver matches her wig or the blue as well? Was she one of them? I'm, I'm a wild and cool grandma that dyes my hair and I'm hip to what all the youngsters are saying and chilling and vibing with. And then throwing gang signs. Is that the kind of grandma that she was? The dye, dye my hair blue and silver grandma? In that case... Maybe they're, they weren't super sad to see her stumble out into the snow off her meds. Maybe she was getting on some nerves. I don't, more motive here. You don't, I don't know. My grandma was not like that. She was, she was pretty grandma-like. Also didn't wear a wig. Hold on. Wig? Oh, I guess... She uh, she had hair, so this this grandma just happened to be losing her hair. That's fine, you know that not happens. That's fine. No, I'm not. I have no problem with that one. Okay, I've warned all my friends and neighbors. Better watch out for yourselves. Sing it right. Sing what right? Sing the song right? Or sing the gospel to your neighbors and friends and family? They should never give a license. No. To a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves. Okay, that's let's let's tackle a couple things here. You've gone to your friends and neighbors claiming Santa and his reindeer killed your grandma. Gotta wonder how those conversations went. And they're gonna be like peeking through their blinds, trying to discover what's really going on in this house. Santa and his reindeer killed your grandma. Sure. Okay. Hey, police. Just saying. I, 
these are weird friends and neighbors not to not to be doing something about it. A, a woman was murdered. And then I don't think Santa technically would need a license because he's he's not operating on like government roads. North Pole doesn't have a government, so he hasn't to register with the North Pole government. There's nobody up there to be government to be governing, you know. And again, tech, this vehicle technically doesn't operate on government roads. It's just on. Pardon me, my neck hurts. Um, just on roofs, rooftops. By the way, I learned that roofs and roofs might both be the correct way to type this via word kind of weird all right that was earlier in the document that's fine whatever but he doesn't need a license like stop being a government suck up okay did you have a permit for that sleigh no fuck you north pole bitch and then the guy they got a little bit like plays with elves you don't know he plays with them they could just have a good working relationship he probably does you know like with the little kids the you know, the little elf kids they probably want to he probably wants to like get it a good relationship with them so they're not as angry about working in like sweatshops or whatever but also what kind of i've played with I've, I've, i don't drive a sleigh right but i've played with a lot of elves like Final Fantasy XI, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, d and D, I've played with a lot of elves. And they're just like people, like anyone else. So like this discrimination is kind of weird. Although, depending on the lore in question, yeah, the elves, um, you know, very long lived. They do tend to be a little bit discriminatory, depending on the lore, um, toward non-elves. And like half-elves too, very specifically. And they could be tricky, maybe a little bit snooty, and again, racist, but I just felt, um, that's it for now, the rest of the song, that's why Grandma got run over by a reindeer, why, because he didn't have a license? Yeah. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve, you can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe, repeat, a couple more times. This song needed to be talked about. Like, baby, it's cold outside. I get the vibe. A little more. There was a little more playing hard to get back in those days. I think it still happens, but they're try Most of the time, they're just. It's recommended to be honest. Like, hey, I, I like you. Hey, I don't like you. Please stop contacting me, kind of things. But, but this song is is more prob problematic because the premise. The premise that it's a reindeer first off, and then Grandpa's all like fine about it anyway Merry Christmas rip grandma suspect grandpa and Mel be kind to each other I guess not don't don't murder grandmas Merry Christmas bye